DC Nation. What is up? Back another video on Titan Season 3. And Sarah is checking out Episode 9, Titled Souls. Last episode ended with Scarecrow dosing Gotham City with Fear Toxin. We also got Tim Drake, who got shot. Jason is still not doing good. And the Titans are dealing with all this corruption that Scarecrow is causing. All this fear. So yeah, I'm excited to see where the story goes. I hope Raven returns in this episode. I'm pretty sure she is, because Souls, like, this is the perfect episode for her to return. Also, it's the ninth episode. Like, she's gotta return eventually. But yeah, guys, I'm hyped for this episode. I'm ready. And yeah, your latest reaction to Titans starts now. What is Bruce doing? East Will and The Last Will and Testament. Wait, so is he giving his last will to Dick or someone else? I, I didn't see a name there, so... Oh, oh. Raven! Let's go. Alright, alright. This episode's off to a good start. Mm. Mm. And again, head. Okay. Hmm. I was just like you at your So end. is Rachel kinda of becoming like an Amazonian? I don't get it. I've been here for months. And all I do is train. Mm. And you know I can do more. Nice. You're here to learn our ways. Certain things are not achieved by force. The ritual we do in the temple requires patience and dedication. Mm. So your ritual's not working. Damn. Whoa. It also requires humility. Okay. I apologize for my words, but <laughs> proceed with your training. Your timing could use some work too. I hate the silence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Head again. again. Mm -hmm. Head. What the heck? Where is Tim at? Why is it all like black and white? It's your stop. Mm. Yeah, Tim, Tim, get away. Run, run. Mm. Donna? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hmm. Uh, this guy ain't normal. What the? Keep going, Sam. Keep going. Hey. Are you alright? Uh, no, he isn't alright. This is the next place. Hmm. I'm dead? Yeah. We all are. Wait, so is this like the underworld, or... Or, it's not heaven. It don't look like heaven. You must be... Uh... Donna, protect him. Oh, what? I'm looking for you. Not me. Yeah, uh, Tim, you're you're dead. 
Well, what is he? He just jumped? Go, Donna, go. Sam, she's a. Uh, what the heck? What what is this? Where are these guys? I have no idea. Hey, you guys from the train? Uh, no. They obviously not from the train. Bro, <laughs> this is cool. Oh, oh, whoa, run, run. <laughs> Donya went from hey, let's go back to the train to and eh, nah, let's keep running. Bon Jovi, bro. Living on a prayer. Dude, it's one of my favorite songs. Hank? Looks like we got some catch up. No way. <laughs> Dude, this is a good episode. I'm like really liking this. I'm like super intrigued how they're doing this. Cool. I think we lost him. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Tim's asleep. Who's the kid? I don't really know. His name is Tim. Is he okay? Oh, he's still in the fog, you know? Oh, yeah. Took me forever before I felt halfway normal. Mm. Hey, what were you doing back there in the woods? Running. He jumped off the train, freaked out or something, so I followed him. What the fuck were these things out there? Ghouls. Ghouls? If you get off the train before your destination, you end up out here. It's kind of a no man's land. Your soul's up for mm. ghouls. Ghouls will steal your soul if they get close enough. Oh. You. They take you down. All the way down to Hades. Mm. You don't come back from that. How does Hank know this? How does he know about like Hades and these ghouls? Talk about the elephant in the room. What elephant? Well, I don't know. You're dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> that elephant. Yeah. What happened? Jason fucking Todd. <laughs> what? I know, right? Yep, Jason killed him. Jason's always been fucked up and had problems, but why would he kill you? Uh, you think I know? He started taking some fucked out drugs. Started mm. dressing like Deathstroke meets the Gimp. <laughs> the Gimp? The Red Hood, whatever that means. Mm. Next thing you know, he went batshit nuts. He it doesn't make a difference, does it make it or not? Kaboom! <laughs> <laughs> Just want to make sure he's still kicking back there, shit. He's with us. Stay with us. Take a chill pill. Anyway, classic Gotham bullshit. Mm. What are you talking about? We have to go back. You don't even know if we can. And even if we could, Wait, you're telling me you wouldn't jump at the chance to go back down there and hand Jason his ass? Is that what this is about? <laughs> yeah. Revenge? You're goddamn right it's about revenge. That little fucker blew me up. Mm hmm I think we're supposed to let that go, Hank. <laughs> I'm with Hank, like... Donna Troy is lecturing me about letting mm, stuff go. Mm. Did you let stuff go when Deathstroke killed Garth? Ah, uh, true. I didn't fucking think so. What the hell happened to you? Speaking of, where's Garth at? It'd be cool if Garth was on the train. But it is what it is. I had a lot of road left. And so did I. You think I'm happy about how I went out? Mm. I didn't save the planet from some asteroid. I died at a carnival, Hank. Mm. A carnival. Yeah, it was a very stupid death. <laughs> like, that was dumb last season. A lot of times just rubbing your lips, agonizing over it, trying to make it stop sleeping. Oh. Whoa. Wait, so they 
just take your soul? Oh my goodness. Whoa. Nice. Let's go, Hank. So the ghouls can be defeated the same way as any other person, like just by guns or anything around? Oh, now you remember. So why do you guys train so much? It is our practice and our way. Yeah, I get that, but what are you training for? <clears throat> okay, how is that balance like that? Why is Raven making that look so easy? I feel like that'd be really hard. No, not very much actually. Is that the final piece? Did she do it? Nice, Raven. Oh. Uh, how does that happen? <laughs> it was really standing for like a good 10 seconds. Is cool. So, what's the deal? so it's a path back to so living. Lock. Okay, this feels too easy. I feel like something's gonna block them. Oh no. How many ghouls are there? Oh. Oh. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weak. Let's do this. <laughs> Pretty sure I wasn't thinking about Grace. Let's go, Donna. <laughs> Not a really good throw. Ooh. Guns, guns, guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that doesn't. <laughs> Look at that guy, dope though. Sam, think of something. Ooh, that that that's dope. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. oh no, Sim is on the other side. Sim, you got. Oh. Jump, Sim. Go, go, go. That's dope. Go, go. Just do it. Whoa. I knew it! I knew she was gonna get the lasso! Alright, now all they gotta do is get Hank over. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Oh no no! Whoa, those ghouls are pretty dope. Go, get him out of here 
before more come. Tell Dawn I love her. Oh. Now go. Go. Oh. Come on, Hank. Chills. I got chills, guys. Oh, Hank. Hmm. Hank? Who is it? Whoa. Oh, damn. Give it a minute, big brother. <laughs> Where you been? I'm looking for you, man. Damn. You almost missed me. I gotta say, I'm glad you're still here. <laughs> That's awesome. What the hell are you doing in this costume? I, uh... I don't know, man. I just... A lot of people around here need help, you know? Mm hmm Those damn ghouls have been getting away with murder, so I figured... Maybe this place could use a fill from old Dove and Hawk. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Hawk and Dove. Okay, Hawk and Dove. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you meant. Actually, no. I mean Dove and Hawk. <laughs> uh, you know, we, we can talk about this. We'll talk about, we'll talk about the next. Okay. We got, yeah, we'll get that. <laughs> that, 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 that was good. That was pretty nice. So basically, they're Hawking Dove in the afterlife. Wow. Mm. Oh, yep. Donna is awake. And she's gone. Is Bruce dead? What? What? Oh, wait, wait, wait. So Bruce is going to commit suicide, but now Donna... Okay, this is kind of trippy. Donna saves him. But why does she say... Why is she come back there, though? I don't... Bruce, wake up. Bruce! Bruce, wake up! Am I dead? Nope. No. You are. Mm. Not anymore. Not anymore. Mm. I called it. Um. Batman never dies, but okay, okay. So episode good. I really liked it. A lot of great stuff. The ending, you no. Know, mm, I don't like the idea of Bruce trying to kill himself. Like, no, I don't like that. And Donna just oh somehow showing up there just in time to save him. Eh. But still, really great episode. And yeah, that was your reaction. Let's get to the review. And that was your latest reaction to Titans. And guys, really awesome episode. I was going to say it was probably the best, if not one of the best, uh, episodes of the entire series. And to that ending, the ending was a little off. I'll get to it soon, though. Let's first talk about 
Raven. She returned in this episode, and Tegan Croft actually did a great job. Her acting was good. Rachel had great parts on the mascara, trying to bring back Donna. Her whole story in this episode was super interesting. And I liked it, how it ended with her realizing that Donna is back. Good. Now let's move on to basically the afterlife. Well, not basically, it is the afterlife. We see Tim, he got shot last episode, and he wakes up in a train. And he meets up with Don and Troy. And they both eventually meet up with Hank. Now guys, I will say the best part of this episode was, or more the best, was when Hank showed up with Bon Jovi, living up prayer, playing in his car. He saves Donna and Tim from the ghouls, which by the way, the ghouls were freaking awesome. The design, how menacing they were. But guys, from there we saw a dynamic form between Donna, Tim, and Hank. And guys, I gotta say, Hank was on like fire in this episode. He was great. Like, the actor, the amazing job. This is by far one of the best episodes with Hank in it. How you just see his story wrap up and him talk about how Jason killed him. Then he saves Don and Tim from the ghouls in, like, that bar or that restaurant. And just seeing Hank be a hero. And by the end, when they make it to the bridge, they're going across and Hank sacrifices himself. Yeah, well, not sad, he doesn't die, well, he's already dead, but he doesn't like it destroyed by the ghouls. He just lets Don and Tim go. He takes the time, and I like it. It was really good, it was a very emotional moment. And I thought that was it, when he was on the bridge, taking down the ghouls, the bats, I'm like, that's an epic way to go out. But then, it got really deep. With you see him go out into what he called the no man's land with all the trees, a reunites with Dove, his brother. That hits. Like, really good writing. It was a very emotional scene. And the idea of Hawk and Dove being heroes in the afterlife, it's an unexpected, very interesting idea. Like, I, I would never think of that. I would never. But I also really like the idea. So, yeah. Great send-off. And from there, we saw Tim. He returned. He's back from the dead. We saw Donna. She returned. And the episode just came together so well. The cinematography, the writing, the acting, everything was on point in this episode. Now, let's talk about the ending, right? We have Bruce, and this is the thing I didn't like. We see Bruce trying to kill himself, all right? Like, the beginning of the episode, we saw him write, like, a last will thing. I was like, okay, what's going on here? And then we see him try to burn the place down. He lays down. I'm like, really? Batman would not do this. Like, why? I, I, okay, I guess some people are like, oh, Batman would not kill Joker either. So it's fine. They've already crossed the line. But for me, I'm like, okay, Batman killing the Joker is an interesting idea. I'm cool with that. This, though, no. I, I don't like the idea of it. And yeah, Bruce doesn't die here. But how he gets saved is kind of dumb, too. I thought Donna was going to wake up in Themyscira and reunite with Raven. That would make the most sense. That's where her body was. But instead, her body disappeared and showed up in this house in the middle of nowhere. Well, well, we don't know where it was, but the exact place where Bruce was at the exact time he was trying to kill himself, like right before he died. No, it just doesn't really add up. It doesn't make that much sense. Yes, the final moments are pretty cool. With Bruce being like, am I dead? And Donna's like, no. And he's like, but you're dead. And she's like, not anymore. That's a good way to end it. But the setup for that ending, no. I, I was not a big fan of that. That was really my only flaw with the episode. I was going to give this episode a 10 out of 10. Until that part. That part kind of, I wouldn't say ruined the episode. But I end the episode with a little, oh, man. But why they got to go there? Like, why, why they had to screw up? But still, this amazing episode. I'm excited to see where the show goes in the next episode. I'm gonna give this episode a 9 out of 10. I highly recommend it. If you wanna see what happens with Hank, how Donna comes back, the return of Raven, and much more, definitely check out this episode. And yeah, guys, tell me your thoughts on this episode down below. What did you think about it? What did you think about the ending? Were you not that into it like me? Or were you like, oh, Bruce killing himself, Donna saving? That's pretty awesome. Tell me all your thoughts down below. And yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And channel. make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my next Titans reaction and review. And yeah, thanks for watching and peace out.